yes uh, previously to those ones who watched my video uh, my first video on the chain twist i tried to explain to you uh, like when you're doing that big uh big chain twist there is the way you're supposed to pack them and uh, it is also different from the small ones as i'm going to be showing in this uh, video so on this one we did the big ones but in this video we are going to do uh, the small ones but all in all what we need to understand is how do we part these ones and uh, how still can we part the small ones and what is interesting our clients uh, our client of today has got short hair so we have to see what we are going to come from what is going to come from her hair i uh, guess the outcome on what we're going to do Morris, the crochet. all right uh, you can see how her hair looks like it is really very very short but she also want uh, the chain twist still you can see the uh, front hairline it has already it has broken already yeah it was her first time to be worked on in our salon hair by clippers so uh, i tried to make sure that i part some hair that i know uh, that if i add on my extension it is going to uh, be protective the hair is going to be protective until when she unplays it so what i always do i have to measure the whole line together uh, then i hold it just like this yes these they can be two lines uh, I make sure that they are equal in that when i'm doing i'm patting my boxes as i'm plating they will also be uh, they will all be perfect so i can still add on the third one just goes like this up to down so i make sure that i also add it in there but you just have to follow um the sizes of your uh, box on how they're going to look like the sizes of the square shape that you're going to be doing so this time around it is going to be uh, somehow different from the previous videos those who uh, saw that video and please if you also want to combine the two videos i'm just going to put the other video link also i'm going to put the link in this in my description in that you can compare the two and trust me you will see the difference though the hair extension here are going to be the same the hair extension are the same but the pattern is the one that is different as i've been teaching you more in all my videos that when it comes to kinky kinky can always uh, it can be stubborn most of the times so if you don't try to be uh, if you don't uh, count if you don't measure it and how you're going to use it uh, uh, trust me sorry trust me you might find out uh, your someone's hairline is breaking because of it so you need to be very very careful as you're doing this kinky yes now here it is something very different i always want you guys to keep on asking your clients whether uh, most of the time they love to hold puff or uh, to leave it down that those people whenever they do their braids or maybe these chain twists they love it when it is down that's when they feel comfortable so even the plating uh, changes if someone wants it down uh, this is what I'm going to show you uh, the way I start from down so we are still adding the same uh, the molding gel and i have been telling you guys uh, it's not only the molding gel that you can always use just use any uh, uh, any gel as long as it can hold all the hair together you can collect the, all the hair together as you're plating it is very perfect i or i've been seeing some uh, some people they use shine and jam others lace jam uh, that they can they always use the that so uh, there are a lot of gels that you can already use to achieve this look so as i was trying to explain we are going to be doing the small ones 
and we can see her hair is short but still so on the other uh, the first ones uh, the previous video we were using one pack we were using two sorry we were using two pieces but here we are separating one piece into two and I'm doing it this way but plating going downwards just like this why it is because my client has already told me that she love to, uh, to uh, she loves leaving it down most of the time so I also uh, choose to do it this way in that when she leaves it down uh, it is going to be a perfect uh, a style for her and very comfortable so as we do this we just have to lock uh, here just tight this tight and this is how it looks and by the way let me try to explain to you why I always plate it using the inside knotless way is that whenever this person would want to lock it is very easy so she can come back for repair and we just lock it and then then it looks as a new it looks very new when you lock it so this is the the, uh, the method that i use and i separate this into two uh, make sure that i join it just like this if that's how you have to join it then you bring it this way make sure it is here you just add it here just like this then you start plating i always want whenever you're doing anything with kinky just know that uh, whenever you add kink with natural hair there is the way it already it always holds it firm so there's no need to put a lot of tension on it you just have to be as gentle as possible and very slowly in that you don't cause the strain so this is how it looks like and the hair pieces is the same as the other ones are the afro soft kinky um, this is how it looks so as we're plating let's remember we have separated the two as you have been seeing so I first twist the first one just like this yes we just first twist the first one uh, just like this then we add in also still the second ones so after uh, because in every part in every uh, uh, square shape the box shape we always get two twists so those ones are the ones that you combined after and you get the chain twist so uh, you can see we are doing many in that we can uh, hurry up yes this thing is supposed to take at least like um, three and a half hours yes so that's why sorry most of the times we have to make sure that uh, we are like yes three in that um, I'm where someone is adding and others are finishing the plating so this is the gentle way i just love this method it is very very perfect and please if you should learn how to do this method because it is really really interesting yes my name is maurice the crochet master and i love you so much those ones who have been as uh, who have been with me ever since we started and yes, I'm welcoming all the return subscribers. Uh, please, you can always go in my comment section. Tell me what you feel about this hairstyle, the chain twist. Yes, it is still new. Uh, most of you guys have not yet done it. Uh, yes, most of you guys have not yet done it. But it's very, very nice. And uh, yes, I love the way it looks. And I had forgotten to tell you that, uh, yes, those ones who had joined my membership, yes, guys, I'm going to be start broadcasting live for you. So anything that you love to learn when it comes to these hair cells, as long as I know how to do it, I'll make sure that I teach you how to do those hair cells. So this is how we do this. But the only thing we just have to do is to, the, to reduce on the uh, the kink extension and then still on the parting of our boxes how we always part them it is not the same thing as we do on the big ones so we need to understand that as we are doing our chain twist so for that 
you can tell me what you feel about this video uh, but i'm not going to forget to add the link of the big ones that so that you can see how they also part them those ones who missed that video you're going to find it in the link in the description uh, so that you can also go and watch it so when you combine these two you get the perfect way on how to do the chain twist from the start up to the end on these two videos so please I just go right in my comment section you can uh, type uh, where you're watching me from and please if you still have any question to ask about uh, this hairstyle even others you can also write it there and i'll be there to answer you i always love uh see your comment uh, telling me uh where you're watching me from yes i always feel good as i see the people that i'm connecting with yeah i always love that and uh, please don't forget to like yes just like just click on the like and if possible you can share but the ring the bell subscribe ring the bell clicking on that red button ring the bell in that you don't always miss our hair so that we always do remember on this channel we always upload videos every week and make sure that i upload for you a video and we learn together for now i'm gonna be signing out but there is something that is very very important that you need to understand when it comes to afro soft kinky yes when you plate it badly it can break your hairline yes i've seen people uh, their hairlines are broken because of kinky but it's just because of how you guys do it so you need to be uh, very careful as you're doing this kind of a hairstyle but one uh, what i can explain more about it is that uh, when you uh when you do this uh, uh when you use this uh, kinky hair extension and uh, you're done uh, plating your client if you hold the puff and the puff that you're holding you see it doesn't hold in one uh, palm of your hand like one hand just like this here just know that is too much and if it is too much it is going to be uncomfortable for this person to hold it you see how it is only one hand can hold it well that means my kink is going to be very soft you see very soft and neat very few but looks packed you understand so those are the things that you need to understand when it comes to kinky if you do it this way it is going to protect your hairline forever my name is maurice the crochet master i love you so much and may god keep blessing you all bye bye see you in my other next video